Hi there. I was teaching a class this morning and got myself down a rabbit hole and then tried to figure out how to solve what I wanted to do. Basically, I was teaching how to make a drop-down list that is called data validation and I actually wanted to add a second drop-down list to be able to look up what would be the price combining this little chart, this little table I've got made up over here. So the first thing I'd like to show you is how to do the data validation. So on the cell here, G3, what I've done, gone to the data tab, set up data validation, and it is looking at the cells over here uh, from A4 to A10. Or let's that make that 12. I don't have it all on there. Good. Glad I looked at it. <laughs> and then I did the same thing. I went to this cell where I'd like them to use a drop down and pick the size. And I went to data validation. This is just giving a list option. And there are, is the range of cells. It's choosing the small, medium, and large. And what I wanted to do was be able to pick one of these products and then the size that I want and then see the result in the, uh, the green square there, the green cell. So that's what I've set up here. Now it took me a little bit to get my function correct. I ended up using the index and the match nested in and I'll show you what that looks like here. So if I double click I can show you. So what it's doing, it's looking up the table which is from A3 down to D12. Now I did include that blank cell at that top left corner to make this work. When I didn't have it in there it didn't work right. So the coffee cell of course is G3 the coffee list is coming from A3 down to A12. The size is from G6 and then the size list A3 to D3. So all of that coming together then I built the formula which you see here in this box index and, and if you've never named a range before what I've used is this name box out to this side where I can select and jump to the cell to verify that range. That's something that you can do straight from the name box. You can click in the cell, type what you want, but you've got to hit enter. The other way to do that is to go to the, pardon me, the formulas tab and you have a name manager in here. In the name manager, you can see that I've named those certain cells and what, um, what particular cells they refer to. If you look at each one, you can see the verifying of those um, cell uh, named ranges down below. But I really like to do this when I have a more complex situation because I can set up the function and use the range names. Now, you don't have to use the range names. So I also typed it in here manually with the um, actual cell references. So if you're looking at this and having trouble figuring out what I'm talking about, that you could also do it without any range names in. So this is working very beautifully. Coffee, let's do a large, and there is my price point. So working like a dream. I hope you like this one. Have a great day.